Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, configure a host only Ethernet adapter in VirtualBox and to use it between macOS host operating system and Ubuntu Desktop 2010. Okay, let's do it. Okay, the virtual machine I'm using today is an Ubuntu 2010. First thing to do is to add a new Ethernet adapter. I will be choosing Ethernet adapter 2 and I need to enable it so I can use it further later in this session. So uh, choose host only adapter and give it uh, a name to the network we will be creating press ok and we are done we are ready now to start our machine but before that we can confirm that everything is ok in our configuration if you need to create the network you go to host network manager menu open the window and as you can see i have my vbox net zero i can create a new one in my case it will be number four I'm going to remove it. I don't need it. I'm using VBox Net Zero. In Windows, it should be Virtual Box Host Only Ethernet Adapter. I'm configuring the IP address 192.168.52.2. Please disable the DHCP because we are using manual IP addresses. Apply your configuration and close it. Don't forget to choose it for these host only adapter like I have shown you previously. Let's start the machine. Let's log in in our graphical environment. Okay, when we reach the desktop, we can go directly to the network configurations menu. The new Ethernet adapter will be the ENP0S8. This is the hardware alphamatic mapping that gives it this name. It means it is a PCI Express controller zero slot eight. So I'm opening the configurations going straight to the correct one. I choose manual mode for this one and I configure the IP address 192.168.62.1. I have chosen this IP address for the virtual machine the subnet size is 24 bits mask and after i configure it i can confirm on the other side if everything is correct so i have opened the host manager i'm confirming that it is also 52.2 so one machine is one the other is two the four octet I have restarted the interface and here it is. The IP address is already correctly configured. So let's make an experiment. Now that two machines should be communicating between each other, my Mac OS and my virtual machine, Ubuntu 2010, I'm gonna show you a way of communicating with each other. So this file I am showing is uh, the one I'm gonna try to open in my host operating system. I am sharing this folder. The documents folder will be shared using SMB protocol, network file sharing. I have to first authorize the installation of the software that gives me this functionality, the Samba share. Let's 
give it the password so it can proceed with the installation and when it finish we are okay to make the demonstration okay let's wait a few seconds until the installation finishes before we can do that okay so activate the uh, read and write permissions and the guest access confirm it because you will want the access to be made without any password anonymously of course you could use your local account and uh, you see the green spot icon which means the folder is already being shared over the network so if we move to the mac os here you see how to connect to a remote host i'm entering 192.168.52.1 this is the ip address i'm logging in as a guest i'm selecting documents and here is the file so we are already communicating over the network and uh, at mac os i'm opening the very same document i have uh, created uh, on linux let me show you i'm opening the the same document on linux with libreoffice writer here it is let me show you the window the microsoft word that i have on my mac os so you can see both the same document being opened on microsoft Word at mac os and libreoffice at the virtual machine uh, i'm using ubuntu 2010 okay so the file is being shared over the network and now i'm going to show you how to give you uh, the access to a file that is has been created and uh, doesn't have the correct uh, access so i've created a test folder i'm giving it a new owner my user account uh, rs medias group and user and after i have uh, changed the overall permissions it is already accessible and the file the core file that is also uh, marked with a red cross without permissions i have removed it and as you can see it is no longer available so i can access the folder now i can uh, create more documents i can make some cross uh, work between the two operating systems and send files and now i'm showing you a ping uh, from linux to mac os and uh, as you can see my mac os is res responding to the icmp uh, request with the correct reply so this is my local loopback ip this is my net uh, ip address and finally my new host only ip address for my two operating systems communicate with each other so this is my routing table this is my route to the internet and the this one the last line is my uh, entry on the routing table to this uh, new network i have created for this demonstration so every time you want to communicate between a virtual machine and the host uh, file system you can do it like this Hope you enjoyed this video and I see you next time for more videos. If you liked it, please thumbs up on my channel and subscribe for more videos.